students as we have already completed the topics related to the 6th semester 6.2 paper belonging to inorganic chemistry especially industrial chemistry so due to the covid 19 as it is not possible us to gather together because of spreading the virus everyone must take care of that and our own health and our surrounding health on this occasion again i would like to give a revision of the complete syllabus which is carried out by me that is the allotted topics related with inorganic chemistry a industrial chemistry as you know already industrial chemistry consisting of four chapters first chapter is cement second one is glass and refractories ceramics and the third chapter is regarding paints and the fourth one is regarding pigments and varnishes so today i am going to start the discussion on the first chapter that is a cement in this chapter mainly we have to see the introduction towards the cement raw materials required for the manufacture of cement methods of manufacturing the cement specially a portland cement both by the dry process and wet process again in this chapter we have to see the important factor regarding the setting and mechanism of cement then types of cement role of gypsum in the cement industry and with the cement and also the uses of cement for this chapter we have referred some of the important books such as engineering chemistry by pc jain industrial chemistry by b k sharma textbook of engineering chemistry by m m upal modern textbook of applied chemistry by jamre rotolikar and lomte and one of the foreign author that is industrial chemistry by a k shriv so coming to the first part that is introductory part regarding the cement as you know since from many years the construction of buildings forts dams roads buildings etc were taking place everywhere 
in the earlier days the construction of the building is going to be carried out with the help of a rock stones and clay material nowadays with the increasing the technology and increasing the population so in our modern time cement is a building material a number of cities expansion of industries has been takes place therefore construction activities such as buildings bridges dams walls flyovers canals pipes etc are seen everywhere as a result of this cement industry has received prime importance in the modern time the development of cement industries and the universal use of cement is due to its easy working its strength increases as time increases and its uniformity so these are the three important factors why all over the world the cementry industry has developed like anything that is easy working of the cement and its strength increases with the increase of time and the cement is having a uniformity character when it is mixed up with water and sand and concurring materials so coming to what is a cement cement is a mixture of powdered lime and alumina along with silica that is cement is a mixture of powdered lime alumina and silica coming to the particular a definition of cement cement is defined as a powder having a constituents like lime alumina and silica combined together which on being wetted with water rearrange themselves to give a hard mass called cement so coming to the raw materials required for the manufacture of cement the important raw materials of cement are limestone and clay limestone and clay these are the only two important raw materials which supply all the four important ingredients required for the manufacture of a cement and those four important ingredients are calcium oxide that is cao alumina that is al2o3 silica that is in the form of sio2 and iron oxide in the form of fe2o3 that is ferric oxide specially limestone gives calcium
potassium oxide and iron oxide that is the first raw material as we know there are only two important raw materials one is a limestone and another one is a clay coming to the limestone it gives two important ingredients calcium oxide and iron oxide the second raw material that is clay it gives a two ingredients such as aluminum oxide and silicon dioxide four ingredients such as calcium oxide aluminum oxide silicon dioxide and ferric oxide on combining forms again four important constituents first one is dicalcic silicate that is 2 cao si o2 tricalcic silicate that is 3 cao si o2 third one is tricalcic aluminates that is 3 cao al2 o3 the fourth is the tetracalcic alumino ferrite that is 4 cao al2 o3 along with the fe2 o3 the fourth ingredients forms dicalcic silicate tricalcic silicate tricalcic aluminates and tetracalcic aluminoferrites